Hey everybody, we are back with part two of the Golight for Predator Hunting, the complete overview and thoughts. In this one, David goes over his IR version that's on his side-by-side. -side. There will be a part three that includes the LED version on my vehicle, and that will be coming in February. Stay tuned. Hey, it's David with Varminter Magazine. Hey, I wanted to briefly go over uh, these lights that we received from uh, Go Light. We met them down at SHOT Show 2021, 22? 22. Yes, 2022. Early, yeah, January 2022. And we were really excited about these lights. And the reason why is not only are they're, they're a portable, high intensity LED uh, that has a remote to it. So if you're going around and we're doing predator hunting, so when we're looking at night for predators, we want to be scanning fields, right? To see if there's anything out there, whether, whether it's worth our time or not. And they're really cool. So I have this one mounted up on my Can-Am Defender and they have a suction base option. They have a magnetic base option, which is what I'm running. So I can just pop this off the magnetic base and and then take it home when, or you know, take it off when I'm traveling far. And what I did is I honestly just took some silicone adhesive and put down a metal plate that is provided with the go light, and that's my base. So these mount, these rotate 360 degrees, so you won't be able to make full revolutions with it. Okay, but you can go around, and it'll come to a point where it'll stop. Uh, that's not bottomed out. I'll go the whole way. All right, so that's where it stopped. Now I'll come back around. And this is all done by a remote. All right, so past that point, that's your rotation. So as this comes back around, we, you can see that it tilts. You've got 135 degrees of tilt travel. These were originally developed for people who were looking at power lines, checking out lines up ahead. So you can see how having something that tilts off in the distance would be very beneficial. All right, you can also go down if you wanna look down in front of you, down, a, down an incline. So we got the LED version and we also got an IR version. So mine is infrared and I'm using it with night vision. And number one, I used it for travel when I'm hunting at night, ingressing into an area so that I'm running blacked out. Man, this thing works phenomenal. I mean, I have a really wide view. I can travel in under dark and nothing can see me coming in. Then, um, the other thing is scanning. So right now I have a diffuser lens on here that broadens the picture. If I take that off, it's a very concentrated beam. I w was scanning this field last night in back of us and I could easily see out to the center of the pivot which was 440 yards and beyond. Now if I'm scanning for animals, it just gets on the range of IR with my nighttime setup. I have a PVS 14 so, you know, 500, 600 yards is about the limit where I can visually see something and while using this light. So I'm not, I, I highly recommend this. I mean, if, especially for predator hunters, you can sit in the comfort of your cab, scan fields, and it's just phenomenal. Uh, these guys did a really good job with this light. So thanks for stopping by. We'll have more you'll see more information on these uh, as we're using them out in the field as we use them over time we'll let you know if there's any updates or changes to what we've seen with them thanks so many of you don't know that we actually have a website and we have articles videos hunts reviews range reports thermal optic info and a lot more a lot of these link up to the videos that we have on here so you can go back and refer to them as far as finding out information that you saw in the video, but it, if it went by too fast, you can click over on varmature.com and check out the article and all the information is there. 
So we'll see you over at Barmerator.com. Thanks a lot for watching.